Hi, this is Marcia, and this is part two of Keys to Deploying Small Group Instruction. Today's focus, time amounts. That's right. Today we're going to be talking about how to set different time amounts for the, the groups of students. Now, all students need the exact same amount of time with you in your small group, and that's what we're going to focus on. Let's begin. So here we are. We already talked about part one, which was talking about all students in a small group during 45 minutes. Now, part two is going to be talking about time amounts. And when we talk about time amounts, it's really that understanding that some students can grasp the concept quicker than others. Some students might need some extra help and support. Well, that's where we come in and we really try to hone in on when we're pulling back small groups, we're going to do with homogeneous groupings. That means like-minded students for only that small group. When they're out in the other learning studios, they can work with whoever. We're just going to bring those students that are in that same area, either they're getting the concept or they need a little extra support or they're right in the middle. We're going to be bringing those groups of students back to our small group to ensure that we're meeting their individual needs. So to do this, we really think about setting up, again, those homogeneous groupings where the first group of students are your high flyers. I know some of you have been with me for a while, you're like, high flyers? And the answer is yes. I want you to start with high flyers first because we want to get them in, get them out, and those high flyers can become studio experts. That's right. They will already know that concept and understanding of what they need to do. So when I release them to other learning studios, they're going to be there for extra help and support for the students that might be struggling in the other different studios for independent practice or digital content or even those hands-on activities. The key is that the first group I'm only going to meet with for about six to eight minutes. That's right. Bring them in, really teach them that skill and concept, take them to that next level, send them on their way. While I am meeting with that first group, my struggling students, my group number two, they're going to be watching a quick little video, like a five minute video, reteaching that skill before they come back to my small group. This will help them to be ready to learn that concept and we could go further into that content. This is where I really like teacher creative videos. And then I add in the district purchase software programs later in the studios. But that second group, I'm going to have for 12 minutes. That's it. That's about as long as I can keep my students. Our students. The students' attentions are very short and to the point. So we got to make sure we bring them back, they get the concepts, and then we send them on their way. They're going to learn that content in three other studios. So don't worry. They're going to still get enough time to work on that concepts. All right, group three and four are my middle and middle high groups. And I can put about 10 minutes. Usually I'm done with them around eight minutes. But the biggest thing is that when you are working on time amounts, set your timer. When that timer goes off, wrap it up and bring back your next group. That will ensure that you meet with all students in that 45 minutes. All right, so part two, time amounts. Really think about how much time you need with those groups of students. <laughs> 